Hello, just got your new e-bike and afraid you'll need a pair of training wheels to go with it? Don't worry, getting started is as easy as holding the power button for one, two, three. Once your bike is on, you'll see the main menu. From here, you can monitor your battery life, trip mileage, current speed, and level of pedal assist. Adjust your level of pedal assist by using the plus and minus buttons all the way up to five if you need that extra boost, or all the way down to zero if you want to remember why you upgraded to an electric bike. Use the power button to toggle the top display between your current ride time, your bike's lifetime odometer, and your current power in watts. Use the M button to toggle the middle display between current speed, average speed, and max speed of your ride. When you're done with your ride, you can reset your trip by holding the plus and minus buttons at the same time. Now that you've got that down, let's take a peek under the hood by double-clicking the M button. Here you'll find the first of four advanced menus. Menu P1 controls your screen brightness. To adjust, tap the M button once. The number display will begin to flash. From here, you can use the plus and minus buttons to set the display brightness, with five as the brightest setting and one as the dimmest, most energy efficient display. Tap the M button once more to lock in your choice. Now you can navigate to the next advanced menu using the plus button. P2 controls your bike's automatic shutoff. Tap M and when the display is blinking, adjust using the plus and minus buttons. You can choose anywhere from one to nine minutes of inactivity before your bike shuts off, or select off to leave your bike powered on forever and ever and ever, or at least until the battery dies. Press M to lock in your setting and navigate to the next menu. Menu P3 sets your preferred system of measurement, zero for the metric system or one if you're a proud American. Press M to lock in your setting and navigate to the next menu. Menu P4 is for automatic shifting. Select either zero for off or one for on. Double tap the M button to return to the main menu. See that little blue light there? That's to let you know that automatic shifting is enabled. You can still manually shift in auto shifting mode. And since you've made it this far, I've got a little secret for you. Your bike can also be used as a USB charger. Press and hold the M button until the little USB icon appears. You can charge your phone, camera, speakers, or any USB powered device. Press and hold the power button for three seconds to turn your bike off. Happy riding.